Car seats are required for babies and young children to protect them in the event of a car crash. And this week happens to be National Child Passenger Safety Week. It's a time to educate parents and caregivers about the importance of protecting their children during every stage of development from car seats to booster seats and seat belts. So joining us this morning to talk more about car seat safety is Dr. Emily Thomas, manager of auto safety at Consumer Reports. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm glad you're here, Emily. All right. Two part opening question. First part. What factors should parents consider when buying an infant car seat? Buying an infant car seat can be a really overwhelming decision for parents because there are so many options out there. And Consumer Reports has tried to make this easier by providing you with ratings and recommendations based on our testing. And we look at important factors such as ease of use, how easy is it to make the various adjustments that you need to do, how easy are you able to get a secure installation in your own vehicle, and looking at crash protection. As you said, all seats have to be um, crash tested and they have to meet the minimum safety standards for the U.S. However, our testing goes beyond the federal standard and helps consumers know what additional margins of safety does this seat provide compared to its peers? All right, Emily, I think you answered both my questions. Perfect, so we'll move on. <laughs> well, yes, and how does Consumer Reports go about testing car seats? We do so in a really rigorous manner. We do ease of use um, with every seat that we have. And then for our fit to vehicle or how well we're able to get secure installations testing, we use five test vehicles that every car seat is installed in for every unique seating position and every orientation of that seat. For our crash test program, as I said, we go beyond the federal standard. So it's a higher energy test that is more representative of a vehicle interior and a rear seat environment. We use a real vehicle seat. We use a three-point seat belt or the lower anchors as appropriate. We have a simulated front seat back to help um, find how that interaction between a child's head and a rear facing uh, configuration and that seat back or when they're forward facing the interaction between their feet and that front seat back, how does that influence the crash protection of the seat? And so what was consistent with the best performing models? All of our top rated models perform well across all three areas. They do well for our ease of use evaluation. It makes it so that it's easier for parents to use a seat without introducing misuse. It makes it so that um, in our fit to vehicle evaluations for the lower anchors and the belt installations, you're able to get that nice secure installation in your car and they perform well in our crash testing. Speaking of installation, Emily, what are some common mistakes that you see when parents are installing a new car seat? Oftentimes the two main areas that parents struggle with are getting a nice to tight, secure installation to the vehicle and getting their child properly harnessed within their car seat. When you're installing with the lower anchors or the vehicle seat belt, you wanna make sure that you've removed all the slack from the installation so that it doesn't move more than one inch side to side or front to back. And the reason that is, is you want that tight install that ties <laughs> the car seat to the vehicle and really helps it to benefit from the crash management systems of the car. And when you're in securing your child in their car seat, you wanna make sure that the harness straps are at the correct height for the orientation that they're sitting in. So if your child is rear facing, where the straps go over their shoulders into the, into the seat shell should be at or slightly below their shoulders. If they're forward facing, it should be at or slightly above their shoulders. And you wanna make sure that it is nice and snug so that when you go to pinch the harness webbing at their shoulders, you're not able to get any fabric between your fingers. And that helps you know that your child is nicely secured within their car seat and really keeps them protected within the confines of their car seat during a crash. And real quick, tell us about Consumer Reports' new free car seat finder tool. We're really excited to launch our infant car seat finder. It's gonna help parents make that decision so much easier for them. It incorporates um, questions about your lifestyle and your budget, what type of vehicle you have or don't have. And it's a free tool, it's available. It gives you access to our free car seat ratings on our website. And you can find all of that on our new baby's landing page, which has tons of great information for parents as they are embarking on this great new adventure. It's at consumerreports.org forward slash babies. 
All right. Thank you, Emily Thomas with Consumer Reports. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. Thank you. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.